You quit sugar, you switch to jaggery, maybe even honey, but your belly fat still stuck? That's because the problem isn't just sugar, it's how often your insulin spikes. And here's the surprise, one natural sweetener might actually help you avoid that spike. And no, I'm not talking about stevia. Stick with me because today we are talking about monk fruit. Now, one of our program members, 40-year-old busy professional from Bangalore, thought jaggery was healthy alternative. He was having jaggery chai every morning, honey in his oats, and sometimes a laddu after lunch. Calories were under control, but the belly stayed stuck. Energy dipped by 4 p.m. and cravings hit every evening. So, what changed? Instead of jaggery, we swapped in mong fruit drops in his tea and coffee. Within weeks, he noticed fewer crashes, more stable energy, and sticking to his diet became easier. See, the real issue is insulin. Every time you take in sugar, jaggery, or honey, insulin shoots up. High insulin leads to fat storage mode and low insulin leads to fat burning mode. And research confirms this. Your body literally can't burn fat effectively if insulin stays high all day. So, what's mong fruit? It's a small green melon from China used for centuries in traditional medicine. Its sweetness comes from compounds called mogrosides. And here's the key. Mogrosides are not metabolized like sugar. That means Mong fruit doesn't cause the same blood sugar or insulin spike. In fact, a human trial published in Nutrients 2019 showed mong fruit extract was safe and didn't raise blood sugar levels. Another paper in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry found mogrosides may even have antioxidant properties. Now, does that mean mong fruit burns belly fat? No, but it means you can get the sweetness without constantly flipping your body into storage mode. So how do you use this? Instead of jaggery in your chai, add two to three drops of mong fruit liquid. If you're making kheer or halwa, swap sugar for mong fruit powder. Want sweet oats in the morning? Add mong fruit instead of honey. These little swaps keep the taste but reduce the insulin load. And when you are trying to lose fat, especially belly fat, that makes sticking to the plan so much easier. Because remember, it's not just about calories. It's about keeping insulin low enough so your body can actually burn fat. That's why mong fruit combined with the right breakfast and meal timing can be such a powerful tool. Think about it like this. If you wake up and immediately drink chai with jaggery, cortisol is already high in the morning. Insulin spikes on top of that and fat burning shuts down. But if you delay breakfast, hydrate first and then pair your carbs with protein, say poha with boiled eggs or upma with curd, you control the spike. Add mong fruit instead of jaggery, even better. Let me share another quick example. A female client in her mid-30s in my program had the habit of ending her day with a sweet. She switched from a jaggery-based dessert to mong fruit-based kheer twice a week. No guilt, no crashes, and she finally broke her late-night craving cycle. Again, this isn't a fat loss shortcut. It's structure, it's biology. If you lower insulin spikes, fat loss feels more natural. And just so we are clear, mong fruit isn't a magic bullet. Research is still limited compared to decades of sugar studies. But what we know so far is this, mong fruit doesn't raise blood sugar, it's considered safe, and it can replace high insulin sweeteners like jaggery or honey. So here's the big idea. You don't have to cut out every sweet in your life. But if you are serious about fat loss, you do need to manage insulin. And one of the simplest tools to start with is swapping jaggery or sugar for mong fruit. And if you want to go beyond swaps and finally fix your fat loss structure, your meals, workouts, sleep and cravings, watch my short video training at gympanzi.com. That's where I show you the exact system that's helped hundreds of busy professionals drop inches from their belly without extreme diets or two-hour workouts. So drop a comment if you have ever tried mong fruit. Check the research papers link below and I'll see you in the next video.